I'm Greg Turner with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. I'm the uh, endangered mammal specialist, and uh, one of my primary focuses would be bats. And uh, so we've been doing a lot of research into the white nose syndrome, which is killing about 96% of all our cave bats. Well, bats are a uh, unique species. They're actually, uh, if you look at all the mammals on the planet, there's roughly over 5,000 species of mammals, and uh, about a third of them are actually bats. They're one of our most diverse group of mammals. And uh, they do a lot of things for us. In the northeast, they're mostly insectiv insectivorous, so they're eating a lot of insects. So uh, each little bat consumes somewhere around 1,500 to 2,000 insects per night. Uh, while they're above ground, which would be from mid-April till November. So they're eating hundreds of tons of insects every night around here. But in other parts of the world, they uh, uh, pollinate a lot of flowers. And uh, so without bats, we wouldn't have things like bananas, avocados, uh, mangoes, all kinds of fruits that we consume. Um, and a lot of the insects they're consuming, like moths and stuff, are actually uh, crop damaging insects, so they probably save us hundreds of millions of dollars in crop damage every year too. So in the study today, when we looked inside this iron ore mine, they were looking for several things with the bat colony. They were looking for any, sight any sightings of the Indiana bat, that's an endangered species in Pennsylvania. We didn't find any of those. The other thing the biologists are looking for is what's called the white nose syndrome. And it's a disease that is uh, affecting bats in Pennsylvania. And it's still unclear exactly what the uh, cause of the disease is. There's a little bit of debate. Is, is the disease the problem? Or is the disease just a sign that there's another problem? Uh, what they do know is a lot of the, the bats that exhibit the uh, white nose syndrome, and, and you, you saw some of that in the footage, some of the white, it almost looks like sugar frosting around the nose, around the wing on the one bat. Um, that's the disease. And they were also the bats that, um, when the other bats got agitated by our presence in the mine and they started flying around, the sick bats were the ones that didn't start flying. They kind of just stayed um, on the wall. Uh, they're very weak, you know, and their biology or their biological condition is, is pretty poor. So there's a lot of research going into trying to figure out what the cause of the white nose syndrome is. And again, trying to determine is it the white nose syndrome that's the problem or is it a sign that there's something else wrong with the bat? Um, Altogether, I think the total count of bats today seen was somewhere around 75 bats, and it was a mix of several species. I want to thank Greg Turner from the Pennsylvania Game Commission, especially, uh, for inviting me along today. Uh, again, I'm just so impressed at the professionalism exhibited by the Pennsylvania Game uh, Commission biologists that I've had the privilege of, of spending some time in the field with. Uh, you know, Greg is no exception. He worked hard. He uh, wasn't, wasn't afraid to go into a, a dark, abandoned mine up to his knees in water and, and covered in mud looking for, uh, you know, bats. And I think it's important to point out that our Pennsylvania Game Commission does an excellent job not just monitoring game species, that is wildlife species that are hunted, but also the non-game species. The mammals and birds of Pennsylvania fall under the jurisdiction of the Game Commission. And bats are a perfect example. We obviously we don't hunt bats in Pennsylvania, yet hours and hours and hours of research uh, and, and millions of dollars are spent trying to help monitor and make sure we have healthy bat populations here in Pennsylvania. Man, you'll meet, you'll meet him twice Shares the land where the air is ice His friends share my brother's years Down in the rock I faced my fear Well, it's all coming back to me like it never has before Figuring out just who we were In a cave called J4 What's a mirror if dark chokes light? What's a ladder with fear of heights? The answer's there and I'll be back Down the hole where time is black Well, it 
it's all coming back to me Like it never has before Figuring out just who we were 